Barry Livingston is a former child actor who rose to prominence starring on the classic television series My Three Sons alongside his older brother. Both Barry and his brother managed to eschew the infamous child star curse upon coming of age, with Barry still being a successful television actor today. While Barry rose to prominence playing the nerdy character of Ernie Douglas, he underwent a transformation in his adult years because being known for playing a nerdy kid didn't help him much with the ladies. Join Facts First as we explore why the transformation of Barry Livingston is turning heads. When child star Barry Livingston came onto the classic TV series My Three Sons, halfway through the fourth season, he quickly won the hearts of audiences thanks to his portrayal of the lovable and nerdy Ernie Douglas. But the star has been candid about the effects of that role. He says the nerdy character of Ernie didn't help him much with the ladies when it came time for him to come of age. Instead, Barry realized he'd have to make a transformation in his adult years to leave this image behind, and so he did. Barry Livingston is now 68 years old, and he's been happily married since 1983. Not only was he able to make a stunning physical transformation during his adulthood, but he was also able to avoid the supposed curse that has affected so many other child stars over the years. According to Barry, it didn't take long for him to realize after his coming of age that using his past experience as a child star on My Three Sons wasn't a great way to pick up ladies. Similarly, he realized early on that he was going to have to work hard to avoid the fate of most of his child star peers. Barry knew he'd have a hard time maintaining his success in the industry, but he was up for the challenge. Barry had already had some experience acting before being given his role on My Three Sons. He had appeared in a couple of episodes of The Lucy Show, and he's recalled his fondness for Lucille Ball. According to Barry, his perception of Lucille Ball during his childhood years came from memories of her driving around the studio lot on a golf cart with a cigarette hanging out of her mouth. Barry claims that Lucille was always very polite whenever it came time for her to interact with him, and this pleasant show business experience helped out a lot when it came time for Barry to start up his gig as a regular cast member on My Three Sons. Another thing that helped was that his older brother was already a regular cast member on the show. That brother is 71-year-old Stanley Livingston. Both boys avoided the infamous child star curse. Despite experiencing show business fame at an early age, both Barry and his older brother managed to avoid the effects of the child star curse. This curse dictates successful child stars rarely ever maintain their initial success after coming of age, with most of them turning to drugs and alcohol as a means to cope. Not only have Barry and his brother managed to avoid any serious incidents with substances over the years, but Barry is also a fairly successful television actor after all these years. According to Barry, he wasn't above partying during his teen years. He claims he and his friends would go drinking in their van in an effort to pick up girls, but that things never got too crazy. In addition, Barry had a fairly easy time letting these hard partying habits fall by the wayside once he entered into adulthood. While avoiding troubles with drugs and alcohol certainly played a big part in helping Barry avoid the effects of the supposed child star curse, the star has also worked really hard during his adult years to maintain his career in the entertainment industry, and it's paid off quite well. Barry Livingston's party days officially came to an end during his late 20s, when he met the woman who has gone on to become his longtime wife. That woman is Karen Huntsman, and the two met in the early 80s before tying the knot officially in 1983. Since getting married, the two have had two children together. Barry has supported his family with his continued acting roles, including notable stints on shows like Mad Men. Before we tell you more about Barry Livingston, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to Factsverse if you haven't already. Barry still works hard in the entertainment industry. Barry Livingston has never shied away from talking about how hard it's been for him to maintain his success in the industry after the end of My Three Sons. Child stars rarely find success as adults, and Barry knew he'd have to work very hard to avoid the generic child star fate. Thankfully, he's still acting on television today. One of his most notable roles in recent years was in the cable hit series Mad Men. Another notable role was in 2021, when he appeared in a film called Notorious Nick, which was about a one-armed MMA fighter. Although Barry's older brother, Stanley, hasn't had quite the same level of continued Hollywood success as his younger sibling, he has similarly managed to avoid the worst effects of the child star curse by blossoming into a well-rounded and highly functioning adult. Stanley was the first of the brothers to be cast. Of the two Livingston brothers who rose to prominence, Barry is certainly the one that gets more work in the industry nowadays. 
But there was a time during childhood when Stanley's star greatly eclipsed his younger brothers. As the slightly older of the two, Stanley was the first to find success in the industry. In fact, it was through his older brother's success that Barry got his role on My Three Sons. Prior to the show, Stanley had risen to slight prominence as a child actor thanks to his time on the series The Adventures of Ozzy and Harriet. Barry even made a few appearances on the show alongside his brother, though Stanley was the bigger star. It was through the fame he garnered from that show that led young Stanley to secure his role on My Three Sons. He was on the show from the beginning. He played Chip Douglas, and the character quickly became a favorite for audiences. Barry has recalled feeling slightly jealous about how much attention his older brother was getting as a result of being featured on the show. How Barry Got His Role According to Barry, his mother wanted him to accompany Stanley to the set of My Three Sons for the experience. This paid off well for the young boy, as the producers took notice of him over the course of the show's earlier seasons. During the early years of My Three Sons, there was another actor named Tim Considine who rounded out the show's child cast. Eventually, Tim decided he wanted to abandon his role on the show to work elsewhere. This created a void on the show and one the producers knew they'd have to fill. Since the producers were already well aware of Barry, they turned their sights on him. Following Tim Considine's departure, Barry was given the opportunity to audition for a new role. According to Barry, he was nervous about the audition and didn't want to do it but he impressed the producers and was subsequently written onto the series as Ernie Douglas. Barry had a positive experience on the show and claims he enjoyed working in such close proximity with his older brother all day. Director Gene Reynolds, who had recently been hired onto My Three Sons, was a former child star himself. These positive experiences certainly helped Barry avoid the effects of the supposed child star curse. Barry and Stanley loved working on My Three Sons. When Barry became a cast member, the show became more successful than ever. He joined in 1963, and the show lasted until 72. Nowadays, Barry is more closely associated with the series than Tim Considine. Besides the fun of working with his older brother, Barry has shared that another one of his favorite parts of working on My Three Sons was getting to know William Frawley, who's perhaps better known for his work on I Love Lucy. According to Barry, William was always making him and his older brother laugh. Now it's time to hear from you. What's your favorite memory of Barry Livingston? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Factsverse if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.